Little pig, little pig, give me that shiny. Not by the hair on my little pink hiney. What's going on prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And today we're bringing home the bacon. We're getting us some Canadian bacon. Dirt hog. I picked up two bags of their one pound dirt. Got them shipped to us. Now it's shipped over in this little box. No padding, nothing protecting the dirt. It was just the cardboard box. The dirt made it here fine because they do use these really nice thick bags. I do got two of them, and that's what I ordered. And uh, probably should have looked up how much I paid for it before I started the review, just so I knew what to tell you guys that I paid. So let's check it out real quick. All right. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put up a description page here for you dirt hog real plastic gold concentrates hard to beat harder to find look at this beautiful natural gold that goes in our pay dirt etc 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 thirty nine dollars is what I paid per bag and uh, of course there was a little bit of shipping on there as well I think it was like 15 bucks for the two bags if you go any more than that it, it just goes up from there but I want to get in the two now what I noticed after I pulled them out is one of them is a bonus bag. So I was going to only go through one of them. Then I saw that and was like, you know what? I guess I'm going to have to do them both. So we'll check out what the regular bag gets us. And then we're going to see what a bonus bag is. So what luck got one of each and we're going to check them out and see what kind of gold we can get out of it. So stick around. We're going to classify these down. I'll probably do a double review, one back to back, just so the material doesn't get mixed with each other. Um, and then we'll see what we got. So don't go anywhere, stick around, we're gonna find us some shiny. All right, welcome back. We got our two bags of Dirt Hog, one of which is labeled as a bonus bag. So good lucky me, curious what's in that one. But we're gonna start off with the regular bag first and see what kind of kind of dirt we're working with here. Scissors. All right, no double bag in here, just straight up pay. Let's grab our bucket, dump it in. Dusty dirt. Alright, whoa. Bad one. Not much by way of quarter inch stuff at all. pieces of azurite and that's pretty much it just a couple pieces of that and there you go super easy super light on the quarter inch stuff which is good because we only got a pound of material here we got a bunch of stuff that wasn't the pay that would be kind of sad all right so first things first let's go take a quick 
up close. See what that dirt looks like. Some nice river gravels. Pretty straightforward stuff. There you go. So let's start uh, classifying it out. We'll start with the 10 mesh and work down from there. down to the 20. All right, so we're back and we got everything all classified out. So let's kind of go over what we wound up getting and uh, show you this dirt. Above the quarter inch, there was barely anything there. Just a few little rocks, some cool little pieces of azurite that kind of kind of pop up and catch your eye. Not really much of anything you could do with that, but very cool to see those natural gems in the dirt. Down to the 10 mesh, more of the same, just little pieces, a couple little pieces of azurite hiding in there, or whatever that might be. So far not seeing any gold, but uh, you know you don't always see it until you get down into it. But the amount of dirt goes right up to that bottom lip on the, on the plus 10. Moving up to the plus 20, about the same amount of dirt right up to that bottom lip on the pan. And uh, here we'll start looking for magnetics. And there's definitely some in there. You see bigger pieces. Probably not going to pose too much of a challenge, but they're definitely in there. Let's take a look at the plus 40. Again, about the same up to that bottom lip. So a good even spread of the pay dirt. A lot more magnetics in here. Again, not too terrible, but just something to have to work through. And then finally, down here in the fine sands, of course we're gonna see more. I think I just saw a piece of something. And there's definitely a good amount of magnetics hiding down here in the sub 40. As expected, as they work their way down, those heavies get into the light stuff. And there you go. So not too shabby. Again, just up to that bottom lip on the pan. As, there you go. We only got a pound of material in this bag, so not too surprising that, you know, such little material throughout. But it is a good even spread. So we definitely like that. Now... We're going to get all this wet and run it down the sluice. Stick around. All right, we are back. We got all the dirt all wetted up. Sluice is ready to rock. Both cameras are going. So let's get this sluice a flowing. down the flow just a little bit. All right, there we go. Sluice is flowing nice and smooth. All evened out here at the bottom. Looking good. Zoom in just a little bit so you guys get a better view. All right, let's do this. We're gonna start with the 10, then we'll speed through, and get on to the next. Since we got two of these bags to go through, I'm gonna speed things up.
All right. Quick and easy. Not so sleazy. Let's go see what kind of gold easy we got. Not too bad. Look at that. Definitely nice gold all on that mat. Not bad at all. So let's get this cleaned up, see what we got. Good on that. Some nice garnets in there. Definitely gonna get some good gold out of this. Ooh, nice. And there you go. There's your gold, baby. That's bag one. I'm gonna knock out bag two real quick and we'll see what we get from that. Don't go anywhere. So this here is our bonus bag. We already found ourselves a nice picker. Let's see what else we got in store. Just rocks. Well, there's definitely more gold in here. I mean, there's additional gold in here, not necessarily more than the first bag. I think that picker was probably the bonus, but there's a lot of black sands in here, so there could be plenty of gold hiding underneath that. But I'm definitely seeing gold here, so let's clean it up, see what we got. Alright, welcome back. <clears throat> we got this gold all dried up, and we are ready to weigh it out and see what we wound up getting. Now, we have two one-pound bags, Dirt Hog Special. We lucked out, and one of those bags is a bonus bag. And it tells you right on the bag that it's going to be a bonus bag to let you know that, hey, be on the lookout for something special in this. I guess that's the thought process. Either way, very lucky that one of our two bags wound up being one. Would have been nice if both of them were, but hey, I'll take the one. <laughs> but what it comes down to here is what did we get? What kind of gold did we wind up recovering? That's what you all want to know, and I'm dying to find out as well. So let's fire up this scale. Miner Bob and the ass are back with us, ready to see what we wound up getting here. Let's put our boat in the water. Tear it out. Now we're going to start with the one pound non-bonus bag and see what we got there. These have a guarantee of a half gram, $39.99. And what we wound up recovering out of that bag is 0 
to zero. So we got more than that half gram that was guaranteed to us. We got a whole tenth above that. So awesome deal. Not bad at all. Next, we have the bonus bag. Now this one, right off the bat, when, we were, when I was classifying it out, I found this sweet picker. Get you a zoom in on that. I'll take some pictures of this stuff later as well, but look at that. That's nice. So I'm guessing that's our bonus. But let's throw that on the scale. Wow. That picker by itself, 0 0.544 grams of gold. Just the picker. Let's put this to the side and see what the rest of it got us. Well, hot damn. 0 0.509 grams of gold. Oh, I could drop a piece. 0 0.512 grams of gold. Then we throw that picker on there. 1.056 total grams of gold in the bonus bag. Not bad at all. That is, that is a pretty decent bonus. <laughs> a whole gram out of a half gram guaranteed bag. I will take it. I'll take this one too. Both of those. Well, we'll get to my final words in a minute, but there you go. I'm going to take a few pictures of this gold so you can get up close and personal and check it all out. And uh, we'll be right back with my final words and ROI. All right, welcome back. Man, what can I say? That was pretty freaking awesome. Dirt Hog. I got two of their one pound bags. They were $39. And uh, I figured, hey, you know, can't really go wrong. Let's check it out. We've, we've done them before and they were good. Let's see how it is this time. And uh, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, let's talk about the dirt as we do and then we'll go on to the gold. Whew, that gold. But the dirt, one pound of dirt, it was all pretty light, river, river gravelly type stuff. Um, there was a fair amount of black sands in there, big chunks of it, little pieces of it. So you're definitely going to want to have a magnet there with you at the end. Uh, or you're just going to have to expect you're going to fight through those sands, those magnetic sands. Uh, but once you do, absolutely worth it. I, I can't, can't give you a better... Um, can't state it better. I had a great time going through this dirt. Um, good even amounts of pay dirt throughout. Not a whole lot because it's only one pound. But the nice thing was there wasn't a whole bunch of stupid big quarter inch rocks. And what I did get were pretty interesting. They had these cool... This is both of the bags. Each half is, is what each bag had for quarter inch. And that's not bad. And the coolest part is, is they had these what I think are Azerites, uh, but I may be wrong. He can uh, send me a message and correct me, or if somebody knows what these blue rocks are, let me know. They came from Canada. I don't know what all rocks they got up there, but very cool either which way, and not a lot of big boulders in there, so it wasn't a lot of wasted space. That's perfect. Everything else was good amounts and uh, very good even spread. Now, Let's talk about that gold. And damn. First off, the regular bag. The one pound, not bonus bag. We'll talk about that one first. And we'll just cut to the chase right here and put up the sign. Boom. Here, let me move over so I'm not in the way of it. Go figure. As soon as I boom, the battery dies. Let's try this again. Boom. The first bag. The bag cost us $39. There was some shipping, but I got two bags. We're not gonna split it and cut it in and do math and all that. It was 39 bucks. Mailman's gotta get paid. Came from Canada. $39. What we wound up finding out of that normal one pound bag was 
zero zero grams of gold. Um, not too bad. A tenth over what the guaranteed half uh, half gram was. And so that was a total of $38.03 as of today's value. Gold is on the rise, so any gold you find today may be worth a decent amount more tomorrow. It may go down, you never know. But as of today, this gold is worth $38.03. And that's going to get me an ROI of 97.5%. That is not bad at all. 97%, that's a great bag. I'll do that all day long. It's similar to the last one that I did. I'll have to go back and look it up, or you guys can go back and look it up and see what I got on that one. But it reminds me of the last stuff. It was about in that range. So I think you're, it's fair to say these are safe bags to get. You're going to get most of your money back. 97.5%. What did I pay? I paid 90 cents for the effort and the dirt and for his effort to bag it all up. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Now... Let's talk about bag number two, the bonus bag. That bag cost us, and let's put this one up too. Boom! I said boom! That bag cost us $39. What we wound up finding was 1.059 grams of gold. Half of it was in fines and, and smalls and some flour. And then there was one nice big nugget in there. A little nice picker. Nah, it was a half gram. That was a nugget. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Today's value of that gold, that 1.059, is $67.12. And as you can see, that's going to get us an ROI of 172%. Boom! Bonus bags are freaking nice. I wish I could get one every time, but you know what? To be completely frank with you, even if I got the normal bag, I'm gonna be a happy camper. I had a great time going through this dirt. I absolutely recommend you check some of this stuff out. They do sell bigger bags of dirt. Your mileage may vary. I can't say what you'll get, but if they're anything like these bags, I think you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna get a good amount of gold back. And yeah, what can I say? If you get a bonus bag, hell, you might wind up with an ounce of gold in your pocket. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm not selling this dirt. But what I am saying is go check some out. Dirt Hog, I'll put a link down below to the bag that I got. Click around, see what else they got there. And yeah, have yourself a great time. I had one. You should have one too. So there you go. Pick up some of the pig. Cook that bacon. Slice off some chops. Do what you will. But this is Dig Daddy signing out from the shed. If you're hanging out, if you've hung out with me this long and you're still with, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you dropped off 10 minutes ago, thanks for showing up anyways. Right on. I hope you hit like if you already left. If you're still here, smash that button. If you're not a subscriber, smash that one too. Hit the bell, do the thing, do all the stuff. Check me out on the places where I'm at. There's links all over the place. You're smart people. Click around. But this is Dig Daddy signing out from the shed. If I don't see you out at the rivers, catch you in the backyard. Peace!